Hi again, everybody. It is now the three week countdown to the Moms of Multiple Sale. Well, kind of two and a half weeks because we're a little late on this video. Sorry about that. Um, tonight, we are talking about cleaning, hanging, entering, pricing, and tagging. Well, my name is Laura Clark. I am one of the sale co directors for Moms, Multiple, Mothers of Multiple Society. Uh, we have, like I said, we have two and a half weeks until our fall kids consignment sale by Moms. It is Colorado's largest tax free kids consignment sale. And uh, here we are with our second video in the series to get you ready to sell your stuff and make some money. Um, last week we talked about the supplies you need, organization and sorting, um, signing up on Flash Consign, and the new frequently asked questions which are located on our, the mom's website. If you missed that video, you can rewatch it and still ask questions. Likewise, if you keep rewatching this video as well. Um, tonight we'll discuss cleaning your items, pricing them, entering them into Flash Consign, tagging, hanging your items, and finally, um, quality control and how you should do everything you can to make your items look the best because they will sell much better. Um, Kids Consignment Sale by Moms does pride ourselves on selling clean items, working items, um, just great condition items, and we want to keep that going. So let's tackle those stained clothes and dirty toys. So quality control, I want to talk about that. You might hear that a lot or you might have seen it as a position uh, while you're signing up to volunteer. This helps us make sure your items are clean and keeps you off the naughty list. So um, stains, lighting in the event center is just wicked good at pulling out those stains. So make sure when you check at home that you're checking in sunlight or you're checking in a really bright light to see if you do have any stains. Um, formula stains, breast milk stains, diaper stains, puree stains, um, and do check every part of that clothing. Not just the front, but babies can get stains everywhere. So some stain removers that I have researched um, I haven't personally used them all, but I'm just going to tell you from my research what I found to be the best. There is Fells Naphtha. This is a bar of soap. Um, and these prices are on Amazon. I got this for $1.09 on Amazon. Less toil. Oops. So this was $8.51 on Amazon. Um, one that hasn't shown up yet is Grandma's Secret Spot Remover, which is $3.29 on Amazon. And I um, found on a lot of uh, consignment pages for kind of the upper level pricier clothes, people have come up with their homemade stain treatment, which is pretty easy. Um, I make it each time I need it because it's kind of hard to store. It is two parts hydrogen peroxide one part Blue Dawn and one part baking soda. So you mix that together. If you do make a lot to store it, you have to store it in an opaque container like hydrogen peroxide is stored. Um, and don't put a top on because then it all builds up and it pops the top off. So like I said, just make as much as you need to use. As you can see, on my daughters, lots of chocolate milk stains, various playground stains and everything like that. So this is something I need to clean. Um, as far as the homemade stain treatment, um, and some of these other ones you can read on their labels how to use them, but the homemade one, I rub it into the stain, I let it dry, and then I um, spray white vinegar on it to let it foam a little bit, and throw it in the wash with just regular laundry detergent, uh, and check it again um, once I air dry it so I don't put it in the dryer to set the stain so I check it to make sure the stain got out. Uh, sun is also an excellent thing to get stains out. I did cloth diapering and I got all of those stains out by just drying it in the sun um, and so that was magic as well and so that's great and then um, 
Mr. Clean is great for all of your toys and it's also great for shoes. Um, sometimes it's better to use it without wetting it and sometimes you can wet it. So just try it both ways to get those things out. Another thing, especially if you have pets, make sure all clothes, toys, baby gear, everything is pet hair free. Um, because that does count as dirty. So we want to make sure that that is not on our clothes and uh, items for sale. And like I said, check the back of items. Um, as far as other infant things to clean, like um, strollers, swings, rock and plays, bouncers, take the fabric part off of all of those, wash it, follow manufacturer's instructions. You could wipe the plastic down underneath um, with a cleaner uh, or just vinegar and water so it's baby safe. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And if you're cleaning car seats, very, very important to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Some of them, can, some of the um, car seat fabric can be machine washed. Some of it can only be spot cleaned. And as far as car seat straps, I know that you absolutely cannot soak those in water, but you know, you can spot treat them and just please, please, please look online for manufacturer's instructions because car seats have a lot to do with safety and we don't want you cleaning those incorrectly. So that is very important. We do want them cleaned, but please clean them correctly. And as far as cleaning toys go, like I said, just wiping it down using the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser uh, can really help. But any toys that make some sort of noise or have buttons and lights, make sure those work. Now, we ask you to replace batteries on any of those toys that you're selling for $5 or above. Um, so if they're $5 or less, just make sure they're working, but, you know... Honestly, it is harder to sell if the people can't test it out and see if it's working. So let's get your items sold and not take them back home with you. So batteries are a great thing and test them out. Okay, so listen to them and uh, look for the lights and blingy stuff. Okay, um, so some things about not selling. Um, wire hangers. Don't use wire hangers. No, 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 no. Um, Use the plastic hangers. Please use child size hangers for clothes that are sizes six and under. Um, maternity and bigger kid clothes, you can use adult hangers, but please make sure they're the plastic ones and not the wire ones. Uh, can you sell stuffed animals? Stuffed animals, we have had that question asked. Um, no on stuffed animals in general. If they are stuffed animals such as Tickle Me Elmo or those leapfrog dogs or something that have lights and make sound and say things back and dance and that sort of stuff, uh, kind of like learning stuffed animals, you can sell those. Just no regular stuffed animals. If, if we had those, it would take up half the space and we wouldn't have room to sell all of our other stuff. So no stuffed animals, please. And can you sell VHS tapes? Now, I know some people still have VHS um, players, but we do not sell VHS tapes at our sales. Just DVDs and discs, CDs, like that. Okay. Now, flash consign. Hopefully some of you guys, when you signed up, got to poke around a little bit on that. Um, my printer just decided to conk out to show you what the page for entering your items looks like, but I did write down the list of everything that's on that, things that you enter. Now I personally, I hang all of my clothes up in order from size and outfits and stuff like that. Um, so I can just enter it in order in Flash Consign. Flash Consign tags, here we go, here's one of mine. Item number 11. So that's the order that you put them in. So if it's hanging in the order that you enter them in, you just, after you cut them out, you just go put them in order of the item number and then bam, 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 you tag them. So that is really helpful. But um, so to, to enter your items into Flash and Sign, you hit the button that says Manage Items and then go to Add Items. And there are several different um, areas for you to enter things into. There's item name, 
description, size, price, category is a drop down box. Um, whether you want it discounted or not, whether you want it donated or not, um, how many of those items you have. Like let's say you have lots of twin sets of duplicate things, so you just put two of those if you have two coats or something. And then there is a checkbox for add another item after this one. And then to the left side, there is, hi Terry, I will, I'm going to explain each of these categories in just a second. Um, so to the left of all of those says, uh, there are little checkboxes that say keep. So that um, is for each of those things I just listed. Um, what keep means is if you want to keep exactly what you put in there for the next item. So let's say you're doing all your shoots. Okay, so your item name might be different, your description might be different, um, size might be the same for a couple of them, and price and category. So you put keep on the ones that you want to happen again for your next tag, and then you uncheck them. So that at least saves you some time on typing. Um, so let's go in order of what I listed. So the item name, um, under that I would put the brand. Um, I would put what it is, like let's say mine is Carter's and pajamas, and I might say it's girls under there, um, or you put boys or just whatever. Um, just kind of a brief description, and that prints out right here. Mine says Carter's, PJ's set of four, and then there's the description. The description is a lot longer. Um, for you to put in there, and that's what's down here on the tag. Um, for description, that really helps us if your tag accidentally gets lost. It helps us find your item and reprint a tag so we can still sell it if the tag was lost. So I would put color. I would put if there's a pattern, like for this shirt, I would put pink and gray stripe. Um, I could put uh, purple ruffle flowers on it, or if it had a floral pattern, I could just name all the colors. I'd put that it's long sleeve, um, girl's shirt, uh, just anything descriptive in there. You get 250 characters in that, uh, so you can put a lot of description to help us out. And then, um, so the category, it's like that category is like clothing, toys, shoes, all of that stuff. That helps us on our end, um, keep track of what kind of things people are selling and stuff like that. Sometimes it doesn't get that specific um, and it can be kind of guessing as to where we put it. We are working on that with Flash Consign um, to see if we can create our own labels. Uh, so sorry if that hasn't happened yet, but that your clothes, we it, we don't determine where they're put on the racks based on what that tag says in the category. Um, that we figure out by how you bag it up and bring it to the sale and label your bags. Um, so we don't look at the tags for that, but that is very helpful with the sale when you do put what it is. So don't sell a pair of shoes and put it as a crib. So um, now as far as discounted and donate, those boxes are automatically in Flash Consign we don't have a discounted day um, or a discounted hour or anything like that in the mom sale. So you don't have to worry about that. Just put no under discounted. Um, it doesn't exist for our sale. As far as donate, sorry I didn't put that on my tag, but somewhere on the tag it will print a D. Um, that means you want to donate the item. Uh, what we do at the end of the sale, if you have a D on your tag, is we do not put it in your pile to take home. We put it in our donate pile and um, we just help other families, we donate, we just, uh, it just goes to a good cause. So if there's items that you're just like, I want this out of my house, I'm going to try to make some money off of it, but I don't care if it comes back or not, then we um, we will... Uh, just put it in the donate pile with the D. And of course at the end of the sale if you have something that you forgot to mark donate on and it's in your pile when you go through your items, you can still bring it to our donate pile. And thank you Varby for talking about the discounting. I know we had talked about it um, amongst ourselves but I just 
did remember the final answer, sorry. Um, okay. So, let's see, sorry, I have my little notes. Okay, now pricing of items. So, um, a lot of times you're just like, what should I price this as? Um, in our frequently asked questions, we did put some online price guides, which are great to use. You can just Google consign kids consignment pricing guides. Um, that will help you. The mom sale does uh, advertise that everything's 50% off or more of a discount. So please don't price anything um, only 30% off or something like that. Uh, you can also check Craigslist for prices, like if you're not sure how much some cribs go for and if you can get a lot of money for it, Craigslist is a great resource. And one thing that will help, and I'm going to bring this up again, later when we talk about where to tag, but you can print up these from Amazon. So um, things that the reason I printed it up is a lot of these things can get folded up like pack and plays. Here's a pack and play one. They just stay folded up. So you can put this picture on your folded up pack and play so everybody can see what it looks like unfolded. Um, you can do it in color. I have a black and white printer. Um, but what's great about Amazon is the original price is up here. So uh, if you're a shopper like me, I'd be sitting there with my smartphone being like, how much is this normally? Is this a good deal? Do I really want to buy it? But if the price is already on there, the original price, and then you show your um, on your tag how much they're getting it for, then it's just like, bam, you got a picture of it. It sold because it's a great deal. So that's really helpful. Okay, so how... Oh, um, Barbie, do you want to answer Terry's question about, yeah, it's just if you want to put a discount on things, so it do, everything doesn't automatically discount, it's just if you check that box that you want it to be discounted. Okay, so how and where to tag. So here's lovely tagging gun. Take the safety off. So these tags, so helpful, flash can sign, it says attach here. So, poke it through there, load up your gun. Already have the barbs in there. So your hanger should be looking like a question mark when you see the front of the outfit. So you should go on this side, which is the left side of the shirt, but is right side when you're looking at it. So right here in the underarm area, there are where both seams come together. That is the best place to tag or anywhere along the actual seam. So in the seam, there's already holes there because of the sewing holes to keep the garment together. So it will not create any additional holes to uh, make the garment look bad. So poke it in there. And then I usually keep my hand in on the other side so I can catch the barb. Punch it. There you go. So there's tag in a shirt. And then... Okay, pants. So I hung up some pants just as a reminder from my very first video. These are bad pants hanging up. Woo! That doesn't look good on the hanger. So using safety pins, which pokes holes in the seam of the pants. Um, use safety pins if you absolutely have to, but I'm going to show you a trick with, uh, um, oh my goodness, why can't I remember that these little thingies? Um, why can't I remember the name? It's been a long day. <laughs> so anyways, this, don't hang pants this way. There you go. Zip ties. Yes, zip ties. That's the word I was looking for. Zip ties. Here's your belt loop. Put zip ties through it. Hang it up on the angled part of the hanger. Pull your zip ties tight. See? Nope. Beautiful hanging. Um, doesn't slide around. Now, like I said, you can use pins if, if there's no way you can do zip ties. Um, or if you don't have pants hangers. You know, Moms of Multiples does sell hangers. So if you want some uh, pants hangers, just ask us and we can sell you some. So you don't even have to worry about safety pins. But this looks great. And then for pants, as to where to tag, tag on the same side of pants. 
try to get a seam so right there in the waist oops I didn't even get my tag so do a tag poke and pull the gun so there you go for pants so shoes do not bag your shoes people want to see the condition of them so shoes here we have my shoes or zip ties get the long zip ties so put them on the straps but don't zip it together yet I poked a hole in this one so just put it through the zip tie there we go pull it tight snip the end off there's your shoes if you are afraid that this might get pulled off or something you can get an extra one right duplicate on it and stuff it inside the shoe I guess you could tape it inside the shoe too but as long as if you know that's your tag and you want people to see it stuff it in there okay um, so like I was saying earlier these large items um, cribs anything that's broken down you can't show exactly what it looks like as it's selling um, print this picture up like I said it's from Amazon it has the price but it also pretty pictures so they can see what it looks like all bundled together and they don't have to be messing around with it in the sale taking it all apart um, so you can tape those on um, yeah if you bag some rubies yeah I know some of those shoes it's hard you can't even um, poke a hole in them so yeah that's fine just don't maybe not tape the bag shut like with a ton of packing tape so if they want to open the bag and look at the condition of the shoes they still can do that so that would be good all right okay now I already showed you how to hang clothes um, I did want to mention that clothes on a hanger sell better than clothes bundled in a bag um, people can see them better they can flip through the racks uh, bags we usually have to roll up or fold them or something like that but some things you know you just run out of hangers you need to bag them I mean you, you gotta bag socks you're not gonna hang socks up so um, just bag them so they look nice uh, people can see what they are and but like sleep sacks uh, sleepers PJ stuff like that still hang them up we're actually going to have a sleepwear section this time so everybody can uh, look through those without mixing them up with the clothes so hang them up and outfits where did my outfit go? Okay. so outfits sell really well and plus that's a way like it doesn't have to be the same brand if you have a pair of jeans and you always paired it with this one top um, sell those together just as long as they're the same size so you're not you know giving a 2t with a 5t or something so what I do is I, I do have some pants hangers but I don't have a lot um, but if you don't have those multiple hangers like you get Gerber onesies on and stuff like that if you don't have any of those to make outfits just tie a rubber band around here so tie them together and then they can see hey it's an outfit um, that goes together and uh, make it look nice and then uh, well I wanted to talk about twin sets so there were some questions after my last video on twin sets let me get my twin sets sorry small room okay so twin sets at the sale that is a rack that is only up during the time the moms of multiples can shop once it's open to the public that rack is taken down and everything is divided into the racks that they're supposed to go on like dressy clothes snow suits regular clothes stuff like that so here's my twin set see they're not not the same color but they're coordinating or you can have boy girls twin sets now I would price these separately so each of them would get their own tag their own price all of that but what I would do when I drop off is I would put these together not rubber band them together just put these together and and bag them together I guess I'll show you how to bag right now when you bag 
label your bag. This obviously doesn't say twin set, um, but it should say twin sets um, to get them on the right rack. So it says girl 3T totes. So I poked a hole in the top of here. So like this. So this would say twin sets on here. So to hang on the twin set rack, but like I said, treat it as if they are um, separate pieces of clothing. So if a twin mom doesn't buy them or somebody doesn't want to buy um, multiples of one, then they can be um, priced separately. And Terry, can we zip tie them together? Yeah, you can zip tie instead of rubber bands, just whatever you have on hand to keep those hangers together. Um, like I said, I would do that for outfits. I wouldn't do it for twin sets. Um, but yeah, outfits, rubber banding them together. So, and you, they, they only need to pick one article of clothing on an outfit to put the tag on. Just say in the description that it is an outfit. Like I'm selling four piece pajamas that I bought at Carter's as four pieces, you know, as four pieces. And I'll just rubber band those together, but just put one price tag on it and make sure the price tag gets the description. Um, hanging out to sell, what does it say? It's burnt. Yes, uh, Colby, um, in the twin sets, uh, everything's hung up exactly as you put it in the bag. So if I have a bag of five different twin sets and I bag it up, what we do is we just, the volunteers take the bag of stuff. So if this had 10 pieces on it or whatever, they just take it, they hang it up. And then when everything in the sale on Friday evening is all hanged up, all sorted out and everything like that, all of us volunteers go over and we just rip the bags off. So, and that's how it is. Um, we might go through it to, you know, do quality control check, but we're not going to switch them around on the twin sets rack. So they will be right next to each other. Uh, people are welcome to buy just one piece of the twin set if they want to. Um, but they will be in the twin set area. And if you bag them together, they will be hanging next to each other. It's just the bag that's going to be marked twin set. Okay. All right. Okay. Are there any more questions so far? Oh, I did want to show you one more thing. I forgot. Someone asked about cutting the tags. I personally give it to my husband to do while he watches TV, but if he doesn't have time or if I don't want to be mean to him, then um, this is what I do. Now, these are three different items, and um, I'm moving my camera around so I can show you. I can't really show you how I do it since I'm filming myself, but all right. What we have here, uh, I sew, so this is a huge one. So this green thing is a cutting mat, and um, that you can get in small sizes, like 8 by 11 or even smaller than that. And then I have, I have this is my sewing straight edge, but you can use a regular ruler. And then I have different, these are um, uh, rotary cutters. I have this fancy one, which is a bigger one. But these little guys work. Now they sell these at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, all those places with coupons. So if you do want to spend money, this will save you a ton of time. But, you know, use coupons and stuff like that so you're not spending a lot of money. So what you do is you line up your straight edge or ruler on one of the lines and be sure to use a cutting mat. This is kind of hard to film because I don't know how to turn the camera around. So be sure to use a cutting mat so you don't damage your table. And if you don't use a cutting mat, you um, will actually dull your blade. So line it up and then um, hold the ruler with your hand and just go zoop. And there you go. You can probably do like three or four layers at a time. Just make sure to hold your straight edge down, uh, your ruler, whatever you might have as a straight edge, if you have a um, plastic or metal clipboard or something like that, to get your fingers away from that really sharp blade. But that will really, really save you time in cutting tags if you don't want to use scissors. But like I said, it is spending a little more, but um, coupons at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Michael's can all actually be used between those three stores. And um, just depends on if you want to save time or not. Okay, uh, Terry, let's see, if we put something together that's a set, car seat and stroller, but can be sold separately, how do we mark 
it so tag pullers know there are two items. Um, each of those would get a tag. Um, yeah, and like Barbie said, make a sign that they are sold separately. Um, just, you know, and put on your tag like car seat only um, and base only or base solo. Um, and we can either put them to, like if you attach them together, um, you know, it might be assumed that they're sold together or if you do attach the car seat to the base or the car seat to the stroller, make the tags very obviously if you're looking at the same direction, like if you're looking in front of it, you can see two tags. Um, and two different prices so they, you know, don't assume that it's just a duplicate tag. So, any other questions so far? Well, thank you guys for joining me. Um, next week, which is actually just later this week, uh, probably on Friday, we will go over um, tagging toys and tagging some other miscellaneous non-clothing items. We will also go over volunteer shifts, um, what they're about, if you have any questions about them, and how it affects your commission rate as well as your shopping time for doing the volunteering. And um, if you have any suggestions of some other things you would like to learn, um, just let us know in the comments. And so Friday, I normally do these at 8.30, but we have a babysitter on Friday, so I'm going to do this before dinner. I will announce that earlier on Friday, and like these are, you can always re-watch them and we put them on YouTube later. Um, so if you can't make it at a, at a different time that I'm doing it, well, you can still come see me. And thank you guys. Have a, I've had a great night, and... Um, I gotta get to tagging myself so I can start selling my stuff. So, okay. Bye.